welcome back dear friends inside this class we are going to learn about javascript data types so open the notepad plus plus first i'm just going to tell you here what's data type so data type is very easy the type of data so we have just here a string data type we have here integer data type then we have one more here this cart variable data type so inside javascript we have a string data type integer data type and variable data type data type so you can just save us this file for better just understanding to create a separate file by giving the name data dash types dot html we are going to create a separate file for this so here uh, i don't need for this uh, separate javascript file because we are working on this and i can close this also so here uh, if you just writing i'm just going to use here document.write document.write function so inside this as i told if you are writing any number without any quotation for example you can just write here 25 plus 25 so we can just get the result here open in browser and you can see we got here 50 25 plus 25 is 50 so if you are writing a number inside this round bracket without any quotation if you are inserting a quotation here so you can see this is a string value now you can see 25 plus 25 it will not plus or it will not just divide or multiply the number because we have inserted this inside the quotation and if you are inserting a number inside quotation so this will be a string value i just focus here and if you are writing a number without any quotation inside this parentheses so that will be integer value i'm just going to use just here a plus sign not a plus sign i'm just going to duplicate this Control c and we can just paste this here so inside the first one i'm going to write here quotation single quotation or double quotation no meter hi this is string hi this is string so very simple we can use a br and you know br is break or you can say line break save hi this is string this a text is written inside this quotation and if you're writing a text a number inside the quotation that will be a string value so this is string and this integer value so we have just uh, we have a string data type integer data type then we have variable what is variable for example you are just creating a where here uh just i'm just writing here wahid i'm just writing my name is equal to uh, just inside the quotation wahid is equal to i'm just saying web designer so again i can just copy this for saving the time I can paste this here now i want to take the display of this uh, web designer so i'm not writing here web designer i'm just writing the name of my variable so i'm just writing going to copy this and paste here so we can just save this now come here and refresh so you can see we have web designer here which is saved inside this one if you are not writing here wahid you are not calling your variable so it will not give display you can see so this card variable data type inside variable data type you can just save a string value or you can just save integer value i am going to copy this just for better understanding i am going to paste this one more time this time i have wahid with uh, just uh, double d here and inside this one i am going to insert integer value for example uh 6147 just like this i'm just going to write a dimmy number you can save this and here i am just going to call double d the second weight a refresh so you can see we have this number here the variable which we have the data that we have inside this one we have called here it means that inside variable data type you can save 
string and integer so inside the string data type you can write your string value inside integer you can write your integer value Inter integer value is number only number if you are writing a number inside the parentheses without any quotation so that will be integer if you are write, uh, writing a number and a text inside the quotation inside the parentheses inside the quotation so that will be a string data type but if you are writing just uh, uh, a string or integer inside the variable that will be variable data type so we have these three types data types i hope you are understand about string about integer about variable data types so thank you for watching and see you in the next class